good morning friends. So today we'll be reading Inch by Inch, written by Leo Leone, and then we'll be doing a math lesson on measurement. So let's get started with our story. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me! I'm an inchworm! I am useful! I measure things! Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Now friends, did you know that inchworms, when they stretch their body out all the way, they are exactly one inch, and that's why they're called inchworms. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with that, the inchworm, and with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. You can see the inchworms on his back. The inchworm measured the neck of a flamingo. You see him there? See if you can spy the inchworm for me. So he measured the toucan's beak. And the legs of a heron. Where will he go next? The tail of a pheasant. And the whole hummingbird. Are hummingbirds big or small? That's right, they're small birds. It's not much for the inchworm to measure. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. M measure my song or I will eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. So let's see. Do we see where the inchworm is? Is here right now, facing the nightingale. Now the nightingale is singing. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. Now is he measuring the nightingale, friends? No. Which way is he going? Away from the nightingale. He measured and measured. Where is he now? He's way down there in the grass. Inch by inch, now he's over here, and he inched out of sight. And that is the end of our book. So now we are going to learn more about measurement. Now this is what? It's a ruler. Now, if you use a ruler to measure, this is known as standard measurement, okay? But you could use just about anything you have around your house. Some small little objects. I have some rubber bugs. You could use Legos, pennies, buttons, whatever you have that your parents will let you use to measure. This is non-standard measurement. So I'm gonna show you, we have three things we're going to measure today for non-standard measurement. We have some scissors, we have an eraser, and we have a notepad. Okay, so I hope you're paying attention. We're gonna do this together, and then I'm gonna ask you to do it at home too. So, let's start up. You see our scissors. 
I'm going to lay them here. And I'm going to start lining up my books. Okay, I'm going to start at the end of my scissors and keep laying out bugs till I get to the end. Okay, so are you ready? We're going to count. So did I go from one end of my scissors to the other? Yes, I did. Let's count. How many bugs? One, two, three. Three bugs. So it says up here, scissors equals blank bugs. And how many did we say it equals? Three. That's right. So we're going to write the number three here. Maybe we can take a guess. Let's see. So we know the scissors took three bucks. And here's our eraser. Is our scissors or our eraser bigger? You tell me. That's right, the eraser is smaller. The scissors are bigger. So do you think it's gonna take more or less bugs? To measure the eraser. Let's find out. Okay, let's take our bug, line it up. And let's take another one. Let's look. How many did it take? One, two. So the scissors took one, two, three. And the eraser took how many? One, two. So which one is longer? The scissors, that's right. Scissors are bigger. So we're going to write the eraser equals two bugs. And our last thing are the sticky notes. Now let's see if you can make a prediction. We have our sticky notes, our eraser, and our scissors. Okay. Do you think the sticky notes will be bigger or smaller than the eraser. Let's find out which one's longer, which one's bigger. Okay, so we're gonna put them here. Here's our sticky notes. Here's our container of bugs. One, two. <gasps> One, two. Now, same number as the eraser? Is it the same length? It is. What if we measure to see the other side? This is a square. Is it going to be equal? One, two. Yep. It's still two, right? Because the sides of a square are equal. So let's write that down. The sticky notes equals how many bugs? Two. Okay, so let's go over this. The scissors equals three bugs. The eraser equals two bugs. And the sticky notes equals two bugs. So what's the biggest or the longest? You can tell me that's right. The scissors are the biggest. They are bigger than both the eraser and the sticky notes. And if the eraser and the sticky notes both equal two bugs, then they are equal, right? They're equal to each other. Two equals two. They are the same size. Okay, so now I hope that you will try this at home. Find some kind of small objects that you can measure with and some things you can measure around the house. It could be a book. It could be some colored pencils. Maybe a marker. Anything you have around the house, okay? and then share our results with us on Parents Square. Thanks, bye.